connected. Good evening, everybody. Welcome to Woodsman Adventures. Today I'm going to be doing an install of the Alt Rider Cinder Stand Skid Plate for the Honda Africa Twin. Um, it comes with everything you need. It even comes with a thread locker. Uh, comes with all the hardware that you need to install it. The only, thing, only tools you should need is be a, a ratchet and an extension and a 10 millimeter socket. You may not need the extension. Depends on how, how it fits. So uh, It comes with all the brackets, the spacers, everything you need. It comes with, uh, as always, All Rider always sends good instructions so it's super easy to install because it explains real good. But I'm going to make you a video of it so if you decide to get one It'll make it a lot easier for you to watch the video. Also, this thing is made just like the All Rider skid plate. I got it in black because my All Rider skid plate is in black, and uh, stainless steel pim studs, uh, extremely good anodized aluminum. Uh, it's heavy, just like the skid plate is too. It's made for the factory Honda center stand, so uh, it'll make it when you slide over logs that instead of snagging on the crossbar and stuff on the center stand, the Honda center stand, it will just slide across and keep you from getting hung up because you know what is going to happen when you get hung up on a big log is what usually happens is you get hung up and you fall over and there you're tearing up your bike so it's nicer if you go over a log, you drag the log, your bike will slide right across to the rear tire, hit the rear tire and you go right on across so also be good with big jagged rocks sticking up not to hang you up or doing damage to your bike so we'll get started on the install and uh, see how it goes all right the first thing you're going to want to do is have your bike set on the center stand and uh, in place and then this this skid plate is actually going to go like this right here and mount on the skid plate and as you can see when this thing's mounted on there how it's going to keep this from snagging on stuff because what you've got is this bar which is the most troublesome spot and this big hole here that stuff can protrude up in here to your um, shock mounting and your pivot link on your shock and uh, Anything can snag right here, logs, roots, or rocks. So this is going to cover that and make it where your bike will glide right over it. Which is a, a real good bonus feature that they made for this to go along with the all rider skid plate for the Africa Twin. So we'll get the bolts and stuff and get this thing bolted on. Alright guys, <laughs> next thing we want to do is... Uh, Sorry for the angle. It's kind of hard to. It's not hard to install this plate, but it's kind of going to be hard to uh, get an angle in here with the camera so you can see it very good. So the first thing we want to do is put on these tube spacers and the tube clamps, and just place them onto the lower tube of the center stand. We'll slide them to adjust where they need to be once we put the skid plate up here. The next thing we're going to want to do is on this um, skid plate on the top holes we want to put the thin spacer that all rider supplies but one of the thin spacers with the flat smooth side facing the skid plate on here like so. Also, before I go any further, I want to put some the blue thread locker that comes with it. It's real nice that All Rider always supplies this thread locker with everything that I've got from them, where it applies. So just apply a drop of that on each one of the bolts. Now we're going to bring the skid plate around to this side, hold it up here in position. And slide it onto the tube spacers and brackets. I'm going to take one out of the way while I put one on. It'll be easier just to put them on the 
plate then hold it up there like so like that then we'll put a washer one of the stainless steel flat washers and a lock nut on each one of the pin studs then we'll line the top up like that we'll put the other flat spacer on the, th the thin flat spacer then we'll put the metal bracket on then we'll put a washer and a lock nut on each one of these like so then we'll tighten these up and it says to tighten these snug them down and then you'll torque them to 7.5 newton meters which I believe is like 5.5 foot pounds no. all right that's all there is to it you talk about a very easy install that wasn't even uh maybe five minutes actual install of that to install the thing so super simple to install i'll take my uh torque wrench and torque all them nuts to 7.5 newton meters and then uh we'll have that part done so super easy to install i'll show you what it looks like with the uh kickstand up the center stand up where you can look at it all right guys here's what we got with the uh, center stand up in the up position you can see now we won't be snagging all this stuff straight back to the tire and uh, that ought to make it smooth when you go over a log or rocks and stuff instead of hanging up on the center stand so super cool and uh, Thank you all for watching Woodsman Adventures. Please click the thumbs up. Subscribe if you're not. And I'll catch you all in the next video.